Hi guys, this is Aliana Bates and I'm going to read Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Square and I'm going to do some um, little reading vlog just because I like it and um, I don't have anything to do because it's the whole weekend here in the Philippines and I have like a five days off and this is the third this is my third day off the third day of my day off yeah so I'm going to read and I'm on page 35 so there's nothing really happened anything yet for now and um Nox and Leo we just met and also Relay really is that how you pronounce it um Tina's daughter Tina's is um Naomi's evil queen so yeah and the Nox is I don't know anything about him yet but he's like a viking as per Miss Naomi said so and he's helping out Naomi because uh Nox get very rude at Naomi earlier that day so yeah he's helping out and I've been trying to read this book for like at least for the first day of the second day of my um love but unfortunately my friends invite me over for some fun you know so now I'm going to read this today the whole day and actually it's I think 2 30 2 30 right now so let's try to finish this book today okay and also uh, I don't think I'm going to spoil something, but I'm sure I will, especially when I'm on the zone. So, spoiler alert, and if you don't want to be spoiled at Things Will Never Get Over by Miss Lucy Score, please skip this video and just watch me other videos. And I was trying, also I was trying to get the bookmark, I actually crochet, and, I'm, and I wanted to crochet like a bookmark, but... I cannot be bothered, so I'm using this paper clip. Yeah, um, and also I'm drinking my hot chocolate while reading. So yeah, let's get into reading. <laughs> oh. We meet Nash right now, Nox's brother, and they are arguing. Hmm. And apparently, Nash is hot too. I'm seeing a grumpy sunshine vibe. But it's just not really sunshine yet. So I don't know. But we're gonna soon. You're not staying here. Ignore the takore. You're not staying here. Oh my god. <laughs> He's being so protective to Naomi even though he just met her a few hours ago. Okay. He's too protective to Naomi and really. I'm something over him and it's like page 45 I cannot hide my smile my nose burned my face uh, hurt and my knuckles were bleeding but looking at her petting my needy ass dog with an arm full of flowers made everything else starts to fade away He's her time. He's her time. And they're fighting over Naomi. Nash and Nox is fighting over Naomi. And we're loving Wadey. He's falling hard. Like, I knew what attraction felt like. Knew what to do with it too. But not with a woman like this. One who didn't know it was smart, it was smart to be afraid of me. One with a wedding dress. And no ring. 
what with an 11 year old this was the kind of situation that had me heading for the hills but I couldn't stop looking at her the way he describes Naomi like is down real bad is down real bad and I'm, I'm loving it I feel like the first chapter the first chapters were like kind of boring to me because I was still settling set settling with the new setup with the new story you know and um but I'm on page 70 but I'm now enjoying it like I can see it coming. Oh my god. Her her ex fiance reported because Naomi's car was stolen by Tina and Mr. Warner Dennison the third of Long Island, New York reported that that Naomi's car was stolen. I don't know. I don't know how he knew that, you know. I think like did he set up like a tracker on his car or something like that? I don't know. But I knew that Naomi ran out of her wedding and hit the shit up. Hate anything about Warner Dennis and third of Long Island New York, you know. Oh oh what the car was from was from Mr. Warner Dennison the third of Long Island New York. <laughs> okay. They only stole it. So now we're having Knox POV and then because in the past chapter Naomi caught accidentally Knox being in the background and he he saw his, you know, and now we're having Knox POV right now in chapter ten and he said um he was having a rage, raging hard on because he just got up thanks to a dream featuring my new next door neighbor's smart mat sliding down like the kind of noises that men fantasize about coming out of her joke. Hi, I'm back and um, I cleaned my room. My entire room, I cleaned it. So, I just got back on reading. So, I'm at chapter 11. And, uh, I'm doing my skincare. So, it's been a while. And I just showered. And I put my hair in a bun. And now, I'm just going to read again. And, yeah. So, don't, don't, don't be uh, shocked when I look like this. So guys, it's the next day and I, I'm so tired yesterday because, yesterday because of all the cleaning that I did and so I just, I just sleep instead of reading. I cannot read dirty and so that, yeah, I just choose sleep even though I, I wanted to read. And now it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm I only just started reading right now because I have responsibilities. I have nine cats. I have nine cats to take care of. So all of those, I think five hours or six hours went through my cat. I'm just going to read, and I wanted to do a lot of things to do. So I don't. Have, but I have a little time. But my priority is to. I only got through this book and I still have this much time so I wanted to finish the book you know before my my holiday week day off and let's get into it so speaking of books I'm on the chapter 11 as I've said I'm on the chapter 11 and Tina and Mr. Knox Man, because Tina is now working at Honky Tonk. I think Honky Tonk, Honky Tonk. She's working at Honky Tonk, which is Mr. Knox bar, or I think a restaurant. Yeah, I think it's a bar. So, and they just bumped into each other today. So like, 
he's her boss. Bitch. Ah, uh, no. Um, also, Naomi. I'm forgetting she's named Naomi because her, her nickname in the restaurant or bar is not Nina. Yes, they're the identical twin, right? So they're, people keep calling her Natina and. Yeah. And I started to call her like that too. But yeah, I really love, I really love the relationship between the grandmother. Because she said, like, tell him to kiss my ass to pick up a rotisserie chicken for me tomorrow. I'll see you when you get home. So. She's, she's, she's gay. She's gay. Sorry for the background. My dad is taking a bath, but I really love. I hate how he treats Tina. But when I got into his POV and how he describes Tina, like she said, she said that he wasn't belong there because she's classy. You know, he wasn't belong the honky tonk. And she was the kind of woman with expectations, with long-term plans, with the honey do list and would you mind and can you kisses. You know, like she he thinks highly he really thinks highly of Tina. Of Naomi. He really thinks highly of Naomi. And I'm here for it. And I'm loving it. But I I just want can stop being so rude because that's not okay. Yeah. Yo, Nox is fucking so jealous. And then there was Nash. He likes he likes Naomi too, and for sure, he's gonna explode. For sure. Are we getting a confession? I mean, it's early, but I'm not complaining. Like she said, I didn't say I wasn't attracted to you. I said you're not my type. She groaned. I'm definitely going to regret this, but I think you're going to have to break it down for me. He said, well, Daisy, it means my doesn't care that you're not my type it's still standing up trying to get your attention that's a different kind of like confession I can't I said I said I could satisfy the hell out of you but you just want more and that doesn't suit me. I'm loving this conversation right now with Tina and the grandmother. The matter of Knox and Nash Morgan. So he said like, I bet you're the one. The one what? Uh, Naomi said, the one who's gonna have him reconsidering this whole bachelor deal. Bet money you're the first girl, first girl he dates from this town in 20 plus year and by dates I mean <laughs> oh my god Knox won lottery money I bet there's something behind that bachelor deal kind of guy he's trying to pull off you know Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. The Viking is loves it because um Naomi is distancing herself to Knox Morgan and it's driving him nuts. And Jeremiah said, Oh, it's a he's a friend of Knox. Uh, he, he is pouting. So he's loves it. Yeah, he needs love, it's, he needs Naomi love. Can I have someone who will who will describe me like how Knox described Naomi? He said like she looked like Summer. What's that? What's that even mean? 
Like she's so warm. She's so warm. Like she bred enough today, something like that. I I want that. I crave that. I crave that shit. Yo, 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 yo! Like, oh my god! Like, my Yumi was shopping at Victoria's Secret, even though she is broke as fuck. She's shopping at Victoria's Secret for a underwear, and Nox is coming along with them, and. When she was shopping, like, she wanted to try it on, but then he chose a pink, purple, and red sexy panties. Like, I know, sh I know he will. I know he will um, imagine or he will dream about it. I know that. I knew it. I know that. I know that. He's choosing. He's choosing the Yumi underwear. And he said, If this is what it takes to get out of this fucking store without passing out from a goddamn hard on, I'm buying you the fucking underwear. The Viking is straight forward. That's why he's on the phone because he was trying to buy Naomi a phone. Like, are you my sugar daddy? She gets his check, bitch. Well, he did a great thing for Naomi, and he deserved that kiss, but, you know, Viking here will lose some sleep, yeah. And also, we got introduced, um, we got introduced to a new character, which is Stefan Liao, best friend of Naomi, and I'm loving, I'm loving the dynamics. But I'm so sure. The the kiss on the cheek is so sudden and I love it. I love it. It's concerning how it's concerning that Willy was punished by cutting was punished by Tina by cutting her hair off. And that's so sad. It was like he doesn't even know Smurf. He doesn't even know if a going back to school shopping is a thing those cute little things that um a girl or a kid should go you know because that's their childhood right but willie doesn't experience any of it because of tina and they're in the salon right now and he was like i didn't cut it my mom did as I as a punishment couldn't ground me because she was never around her, so she chopped off my hair Really wanted her hair long but Tita didn't, didn't want it like what the f this is so beautiful and heartbreaking at the same time because Nash got shot and like Nox Morgan is falling apart but Naomi is hugging him for the first time ever sucking him comforting him like this is so pretty this is so beautiful because sometimes people don't know how to ask for what they really need you needed the hug Naomi said he said no I didn't he was quiet for a long moment and I listened to his heart heartbeat I needed you He was kissing her. He was kissing her. This. This. I think they're going.
to do some shit. And what I mean by shit is, you know, this is very intimate. This is very intimate scene, and I'm here for it. So, yeah, I'm going to read. That's what I need, baby. I need to feel the ghost of under me. I need you to let me have you. They're stripping. You needed this, me, and I live to be needed. A barn fire, just like the Bridger Tom. A barn fire. Yup. I dragged my nails over his chest, and he growled. <laughs> Charis. Oh my God. Nox is stripping in the room. About time. About time I found out what you've got on under those dresses. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, I'm leaving for this. God damn it, baby. I fucking knew it. Oh my god. That you'd look like this. That you had to fuck me, buddy. Wake up. Oh my god. I'm not going to detail. I'd apologize, but you know, I'm not the least bit sorry. It's going down and it's going bad. Knew it. Knew you'd be wet for me. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Smart was good. Was good. Good, that good, and Naomi thought it was a dream, but girl, 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 you're in for the night, and I'm looking forward to many more. They are caught, they are caught, okay, and I'm living for the mom. Knox thought. He was being so like smart with his plan, but it was just really like just been denying his feelings, you know. He just wanted to let it out Naomi out of his system and just fake dating in front of his family her family rather like girl I we know we're down real bad for Naomi, so... I, I thought that was a one-time thing, and then they were like, doing it again and again and again and again for the hundredth time, and... This particular um, moment is... I was like, Nox was hinting something, you know? I wanted to know why he doesn't want to be attached to Naomi as as he should and we know that he wanted it I know that he wanted to be you know but he keeps on trying this bachelor guy thing and I wonder what made him decide for that you know is there someone in the past or maybe he doesn't believe in love I'm not sure but girl i just wanted to know what happened you know it's been like two days guys and i've been reading actually i've been reading i'm like this this much and i only have that much that's my boyfriend right there so they've been fake dating in front of their families and also i don't uh, naomi said that I don't know what we're doing because it doesn't feel like fake dating. It was something like that sentence. So, um, but then, like, Knox just shrugged it off. Like, yeah, we're still fake dating, something like that. I just, I just love that they're having their cozy little bonding, like, um, sitting in a bonfire with Willie, like, you know, like Knox 
said that he doesn't want to do, to do those things. That's why he wanted to be a bachelor, single man, those kind of things. But then um, he does those little things for Willie and also for Naomi, especially for Naomi. So, <laughs> and now I'm now reading that when when Warner Dennison the third Naomi ex fiance goes to honky tonk so we're not seeing some like drama you know and then he was like now i know what you wanted that what you're trying to do that you wanted me to see what life is without you those bullshit that he said to naomi like what the fuck get out man you're not welcome in the city you know so yeah i, I will update you guys again i'm just really like guilty that i've not been updating for the past two days because I'm at work and also I have a lot of things to do but yeah I'm still reading this he said I'm gonna touch you now because I need to and I'm warning you in advance because if I touch you and you flinch I'm gonna go out in the parking lot and start kicking ass until he's too broken to ever touch any other woman again I tried to be gentle as I took her by the hand be good? I asked. She nodded again. It was it was so soft to Naomi and you know, it was like this guy who's like tearing all of the people like confidence out of their system because it was this big man who was that was that big scary man, you know? But with Naomi, was like, I'm going to touch you. Are we good? Can I touch you again? Can I hold you? Like, he become like completely other person. And he's just soft. He's just soft. I want that. I want that. Girl. He grabbed Naomi by the hair and yanked her head back. Like, he hit he hit him, bitch. Just because he was pissed and he was accusing Naomi of flirting. He was gaslighting and also hitting a woman. And girl, not only once but twice, he slapped Naomi in the face because he was angry because of what his mom says to Naomi's parents. Like, what the fuck? This is. Lungs is very, very fucked up. Like, he said that I said from the beginning, I don't do things. I'd warn her. I warned her. I tried to do the right thing. Yet, there she was looking at me like a deliberately wounded her. Like, girl, you are something. You are protecting her. You always came to the rescue. You're always there for her. You're the one who gave her coffees. And you're the one who sent her best make signals. Like, you are so willing to do anything for her. And then you're saying that you made it clear? Like, stop it, Nox. You are the bullshit. Stop. A man doesn't go all in with a woman. It's for a reason. Maybe he's looking for something better. There, my friends, are my advice to you. If a man doesn't go all in for you, he doesn't see you with it on, on, in anything. Okay? So I just got home and you know Knox is being very stubborn and then he said that I don't want to change. That's why he broke Naomi's heart. Everyone is turning against Knox because he hurt Naomi, you know? He hurt Naomi and he hurt the whole town. Like, you know, it was just it was just not the welcome anymore. And I really love how um Willy conversed with Knox in that sense because it made sense uh, Willie expressed Naomi's feelings and at the same time she also expressed her feelings you know like and I think that really hit Knox and also I'm looking forward to Lucian and Celine um, story but I hope there is a second book for that you know but I'm ready I'm ready to read that book if there will be I'm almost done with things we left behind and only have that much in the book. 
And I already have the second book. It's just here. I have the second book. And I didn't read the second book. But the second book is about Nash Morgan and Lena. Because I just I just read Lena here. Ex of Knox Morgan, the one who's going to be the protagonist in this book, The Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score. And they have the and the third book will come out in September 5 and it's about Lucian and Celine the one that I've been wanting to read and I wanted to read um Lena and Nash Morgan you know because I think it's gonna be a good dynamic to a good story too but I'm just so pumped up because girl I'm gonna see I'm gonna see Knox Morgan Lucian Celine and Yumi in the second book and the third book too and i'm i will be waiting for the third book guys i really wanted to read lucian and celine story what happened like it kills me what's with Knox and his cash you know just because you want lottery it that doesn't mean it will fix everything Knox is a very fuck up person and still he didn't know it even though all of the things that just been said by like the whole town, I guess, you know, and it was so being still so clingy, like, they really had an open conversation, like, a raw conversation, they opened their baggage, especially Knox, you know, just, wait, there's something in my eye, and after closing the door, Naomi said, I would have loved you. And then Nox said, how do you know? Because I really do, Tommy. And with that, she walked out of my office. Nox! <sighs> Not really a fan of the ending. I'm just 50 plus pages before I will end this book. And it's already 2 a.m. in the morning and I still have work at 8 p.m. But yeah, I'm going to finish this book no matter what. And and Knox is having his life realization and he wanted to find my girls. Find my girls. Bitch, he's claiming her, them, he's claiming them. He said, then I'm going to marry Naomi Wait, Oh my god. Bitch! Bitch! That's how Knox Morgan proposes, you know? After all the drama, it was like, you're getting a damn birthday party. After that, we're getting married. I told Naomi. That's, that's how you propose. <laughs> you don't. I fucking love you. It was in the page 599. That's the first time Knox said it in the whole book. Means he really means it. I know, I know, I said that it's cliche, and sorry for the background, it's raining. I know I said it's cliche, but I love it. I love it. I love that it is cliche. I take back what I said, guys. And now I'm at epilogue. Lucian is gonna be his best man, co best man, rather, because the best man will be national. And uh, this is where the things we hide from the light will, you know, will continue the story because of Nash. I will start it tomorrow, guys. I will start it tomorrow. Bitch, she was proposing. I told you once and now I'm gonna ask you, marry me, days. I didn't point out that he, had, he hadn't ac exactly asked. It was more like he ordered. I was too busy nodding my head. And that's how you proposed. That's how Knox Morgan proposed, guys. I want daisies in your hair because she saw she saw her for the first time with daisies in her hair. That's why she, he would he called Naomi Daisy because of that daisy and he wanted daisies in her hair. <gasps> <laughs> I am officially finished and done reading 
things will never get over by Miss Lucy's score. And for me, of course, it's 5 out of 5, but you know, the ending got me a little bit. And sorry for the background, that's my cat. The ending got me a little bit, but I still think it's gonna be 5 out of 5 for me. And because um, it's not that deep, they didn't tackle deep enough. Um, but I love how they present how they present how much people fear losing their loved one you know how it causes how it affects them how it affects other relationship that they have and that they will have and i love how lucy score means lucy score also showed unity of women and also how he wrote he wrote with knox morgan like he was not the kind of guy who will just be a dumb you know he do the right things at the right time you know and he always protects he always he always protects naomi and also willie and also i really i'm really happy that they they are adopting they are adopting naomi and Knox are adopting because there's like a issue with fertility right but i really love how they tackle that through the entire book you know and that's kind of just a slow pace uh, it could be shortened but i wouldn't want that i wouldn't want that because because of the small things that knocks naomi lucian and slowing I've been pronouncing her name wrong. It made the book worth reading. Because and they didn't tackle much of the big things, but more on the small things. And it made me feel so much. As you can see in the video, right? But yeah, it's for me it's five out of five. I'm, I'm going to start the book again um later, but I need to sleep because I have work and it's already four o'clock in the morning and I have a work in eight AM. And also if you wanted to um read Things We Never Get Over by Miss Lucy Score, please do. And also I recommend Buy a Thread by Miss Lucy Score. And um I'm in my Lucy Score era, you know? So the next in the TBR is Things We Hide From The Light. And also this is a small town romance. This is a grumpy sunshine. This is also spicy. Smart is good, you know. And also um this is kinda of slow burn. Uh no, no, this is not slow burn. This is it has a good pacing, you know. It has a good pacing. And I really like it. I really like it. I highly recommend this guys and if you are wanted to read this please do read this and I'm sorry for all the spoilers that I just said but I can help my feelings you know and yeah I hope you like this video and I hope you also um I also entertained you and also I hope you enjoyed watching or and reading with me and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye!